Dear Ned, Austria has been wonderful so far. Dad called. He wants me to get an old relic while I'm here. The Book of Apologies, which dates back to the 17th century witch trials in Salem. I'll be going to Mosam Castle to retrieve it before I head back to the States. It's said to be haunted, so I'm expecting some good scares and mysteries. Ever yours, Nancy. Feels like ages since I was on my last adventure. So, are you coming in? Uh-huh. Uh... That's all right, Miss Drew. I'd prefer to stay out here. Why? It's so warm and inviting in here. <laughs> um, yes, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. All of Judge Sewell's effects are there, just as your father requested. Although, I will tell you, as I told him, the desk is locked, and I don't have the key. But I will gladly stay and answer any questions you have. From other side of this door. I recommend opening the window for some light. There's no electricity here. Well, in that room at least. Ah, oh, much better. What a wonderful view. very old, but it doesn't look like it's very useful. There really isn't much here. <laughs> yes, Judge Sewell was a Puritan. They believed they should only have purposeful or utilitarian possessions very little value outside their stated use. Malleus Maleficarum. Wow. The hammer of witches itself. Gives me chills knowing what it did. Yes, indeed. A how-to guide for hammering out witchcraft. It was written in 1487 by a man whose name I won't even bother to mention because he used bunk science to send hundreds, if not thousands, of people to their deaths. Judge Sewell was a pious man. Yes, he believed in the healing powers of the good book. Of course, the Bible was also used to justify executing people. Depends on who's reading it. It's often misinterpreted. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. Sounds like a man full of regret. Judge Sewell's desk. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That desk is where he spent most of his time working when he wasn't in court. Custom made. If the Book of Apologies does exist, he would have written it at that desk. And what's inside this alleged book? Your father didn't tell you? <clears throat> it was a ledger containing all the names of the accused witches from the Salem Witch Trials. Judge Sewell had doubts about his convictions, and he wrote the book as a means to... Make amends. Allegedly. Yes. 
I found a letter. It's addressed to Abigail Hathorne Woodley. What does it say? I do regret to write to you in this state. I have been racked with guilt as my fervency of spirit was too great to determine a conviction just. He asks for her forgiveness and for God's. Locked. What a clever desk. It even comes with a labyrinth. <laughs> Easy. I found it. It's here. What? Really? Amazing. It's locked behind some sort of cage, though. The lock says A-W. Any ideas? A-W? No. But I have some tools in the shop that might be able to cut it free. In my shop. I I'll go. Meet me there. Where is that? Hey, wait for me. looks very old but it does some of this stuff looks very old but it doesn't look like it's very useful an old chest but it won't open but that's not really important right now some of this stuff looks very Nancy this way where is that Dr. Hurst? Nancy Drew, it's Deirdre Shannon. Deirdre, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of- Listen, I know we haven't exactly been besties in the past, but I'm in the middle of something big, and I- Deirdre, I have to call you back. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me. Elizabeth? Elizabeth! <gasps> hey, what are you doing? What? The book! They took the book! This is the only way out besides the door. The thief must still be close. This is the only...
slowly. Uh, come on. No, no, no! <sighs> Gotta figure out which way they went. A ticket to Boston. This canister looks to have been used as a homemade smoke bomb. This canister looks to have been used as a homemade smoke bomb. Yes, Deirdre. What is it? You know where I am right now? Salem. Salem? As in, which trial Salem? Obvi. Come on, Drew. My cousin has... Well, she's gotten into some trouble here, and I thought I could help her out. But it turns out this situation is much more complicated than I anticipated. So now, I'm calling you to ask for some... guidance. <laughs> you want my help? Oh, yes. Don't make this more painful. I could use your professional opinion, okay? Well, it so happens that the case I'm on is connected to Boston, which is just nearby Salem. And I was never a big believer in coincidences. Oh, are you sure? I'd love to. Seriously? I thought I had reached a dead end, but it looks like I have to go to Massachusetts anyway. In any case, a fresh perspective would do me good. Ugh, you're already annoying me, and you're not even here yet. <laughs> you're welcome. I think it might even be fun. Oh, this is so the worst idea I've ever had. I'll pick you up from the airport. I appreciate you coming here, Drew. I'm just glad you didn't change your mind and leave me at the airport. Might have crossed my mind. Keep the excessive cheeriness under control. And hmm. No promises. What Austria. Did I interrupt a vacation with Ned? Didn't you bring me here to help with a case? Yes, I did. And that's it. A fire? Was anyone hurt? Happened in the middle of the night. No one was there, thankfully. The house wasn't completely destroyed, but the person who lived there had to move out. Just so we're clear, this is my case. I know you're a detective and everything, but this is personal. It's family. Well, extended. And from my father's side. But whatever, that's not the point. It's personal. You take my lead, okay? Of course. But? Well, I have done this a couple of times, Deirdre. And in my experience, we can cover twice as much ground if we work side by side. I, you know, respect your experience and whatever. But family trumps experience. It's sensitive, and I don't want you messing it up by being too... Too what? Too you. You're a question machine. This requires... Gentle handling. Delicate. <laughs> and that's been your approach. Well, like I say, I need help. So, can I ask some questions? Like anyone could stop you. Why don't we start with your extended family? They're cousins. The Perrys. P-A-R-R-Y. Oh. Like in fencing? Yes. Tegan is the older one. May is younger. They've... They had a difficult childhood, okay? And now May is suspected of committing arson on the most important historic mansion in Salem. And I know it's not true. I know it. What does Tegan think about this? 
She's worried about May, obviously. Tegan isn't like May. She's upstanding. She works at the Salem Museum and doesn't know a thing about criminal cases, which is why she contacted me. What can you tell me about May? She has a reputation as a troublemaker. It seems like a loner to me. Maybe a bit odd at times. Sometimes she can even sense things before they happen. Odd how? I don't know. Troubled teen stuff, difficult time as a kid. Oddest thing is, she won't give an alibi. That would be seen as suspicious. That's the problem. Everyone is so suspicious of her. Prejudice, I guess. Because of... Well, you'll see. Sounds like we should talk to her soon. Where do you think we're going? One more question. What can you tell me about this historic mansion? It's called the Hathorn House. And it's old. Like, really old. And now it's been set on fire. Nothing else significant about it? Well, yeah. A lot of things. But one that's... Ugh, that's kind of why you're here. Which is why? The Hathorn House is haunted. What do you mean, haunted? Exactly that. There's ghosts. Deirdre. I don't believe it either, Drew. But I can't explain it. Everyone seems to think they exist. With so many sightings, even if it isn't real ghosts, something is definitely going on. I thought that maybe you can disprove them. So would you please get out of my car and come inside? If we're going to work side by side, you'd better learn to keep up with me. You must be Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. You know, you live in the same neighborhood for 20 years and you'd expect your neighbors to be a little more understanding when your family is falsely accused of a horrific crime. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, Deirdre? I'm good, thanks. Tegan Perry, welcome to my home. Well, our home, although right now my parents are literally on safari in Namibia, so... While their daughter is being convicted of a crime she didn't commit, I'm taking care of things around here. They'll be home soon. Hopefully. A very expensive courier is tracking them down in the bush. Top notch, I found him on the internet. Deirdre tells me you'll be assisting her in clearing my sister's name. Assisting? Yeah. She's innocent. I don't know why she won't help herself. She's got... a difficult reputation. Well... You know, Deirdre, what people here can be like. She doesn't trust easily, not since... I'm sorry, are you hungry? There's clam chowder, homemade. A little taste of New England. I made up the guest bedroom for you, Nancy. Deirdre, sorry, you're bunking with me. Make yourselves at home. Oh, I almost forgot. After you girls get comfortable, you two should swing by the museum. Might as well take in some history while you're here, right? <laughs> Just don't get suckered into that witch's walking tour. Olivia Ravencroft is not a witch. She would have you believing all kinds of nonsense about the town being full of ghosts. I thought you two used to be friends. That was a long time ago. Look, I I'm sorry, I gotta get going. Running late to an appointment. Thanks, Tegan. I appreciate you letting us stay. Before you go, do you have time for a quick question? Nancy, we just got here. Sorry, I know you're in a rush. It would really help. Of course, I have time for one question, if it'll help. What can you tell me about where the fire happened? What have you heard about it? Look, I appreciate you want help, but I don't want you dragging all that up and upsetting May. You told me she would be able to reach her. That's not the... That's not what Nancy is asking about. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. I just thought, since the Hathorn House is important to the town, you must know about it. Through the museum. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Hathorn House fire. 
Yes, John Hathorne was one of Salem's founders. His large house estate was the oldest surviving structure from 17th century Salem. Oh, is that all? Uh-uh-uh, that was two questions. I said one. <laughs> but yes, he was also the big time judge that presided over the Salem witch trials. Is there some other fire I need to know about? No, May's accident was in a fire. I just don't want her getting upset with unnecessary questions about things long over. I understand. You can read all about Judge Hathorne when you come to the museum later. Gotta run. You jerk. Tegan said you've been in town for days, but you haven't come by. I know, I know, I know. I had to check in with your case at the, uh... Look, I didn't want to bother you. How are you holding up? Uh, I've been accused of worse. No, you haven't. Hey, at least I got you to get off your butt and finally visit me. Um... Oh, this is the girl I was telling you about. Nancy Drew. Nice to meet you. Oh. She really doesn't want to talk. This could be difficult. Any advice? Hmm. Do better? I'll be in the kitchen. The kitchen table has a great view out into the neighborhood. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you mind if I look around the house? Ugh, you're so weird. I'm done talking, okay? The fireplace hasn't been used in a while. The Perrys recycle their paper waste. Good on them. Wait, what's this? Someone must have been upset. They tore this note up. Must be gone. Now that's handy. Never know when a bit of stubborn iron oxide will get in the way of investigating. Is a note, but why tear it up like this? Deirdre's convertible looks strikingly familiar.
Hiking the Patagonian Highlands, Outback Safari, Survival Guide for the Rainforest of Myanmar. The Perrys have a real taste for adventure. Hi. So, I found this letter. What is that? I found it in your trash. It says, I know. Yeah, I can read. So? So I don't know what it is. Don't go through my trash. I'm done talking, okay? Hi. I'm done talking. Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. This tour sounds interesting. Don't tell Tegan that's your plan. It'll give us a good overview of the town. You mean, I want to meet the real witch of Salem? Yeah, I do. She might know something. I wonder why Tegan doesn't like her. You don't have to investigate everything, Drew. Olivia steals Tegan's visitors, sounds like. You really want to do the dumb tour? You don't have to come with me. Side by side. Gotta be honest, it does sound more fun than the museum. What were you actually doing before you picked me up from the airport? What do you mean? You gave May a non-answer when she asked why it took you so long to stop by here. A non-answer? Yeah, because I went to the police station. And? And they're still going through the evidence. And when they found out I was May's cousin, they started... laughing. So they think she did it. Everyone does. So? I went to check out the Hathorn house myself, but I never went inside. The ghost? What? No. There was some weirdo there who told me the ghost was going to steal my soul. It was totally creepy. And then I found out that everyone in this town believes in ghosts, so I didn't enter. Well, whatever or whoever it is, there's an explanation behind it. Did the police give you anything, anything at all? They told me there's a Judge Danforth in town, and he's going over the particulars of the Hathorn House estate. I found his office, but he kind of never let me enter his office. Believe me, I tried. I know him. Not well, but enough to get through his door and have a conversation. All right, are we going into town or what? Sure. Who could gain something by burning down a house? Insurance claim, maybe? Possibly. Means, motive, and opportunity. We need to start interviewing. See if anyone checks off those three boxes. And in your experience? It's usually something much more personal. The kitchen table has a... Huh. I, pr I probably shouldn't be in May's room without an invitation. The neighborhood looks peaceful from up here. Huh? neighborhood.
Hi. I'm done. Are you ready? Ned! Hi! Nance! How have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry. I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Nance. Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, crime doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on! Yeah, one second. Sounds like you're having fun. Uh, you know. Standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nance. I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was... I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think? Sounds good. Let's go meet the judge. Yeah, let's go. of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. The truth is, magician? witches are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery, magic. Sweet. Most exist now only in secret. And they may be standing among you even now. It is said that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. That's so cool. <gasps> How did you do that? Thank you. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the Witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless dead. Thief in Austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. Huh. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Me? Never. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of thief. 
I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? How did you perform that trick? <laughs> A witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. A code? I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Although, if you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. Have you lived in Salem for long? Born and raised. So you know the Perrys? Of course. Not well. If you are looking for them, Tegan is at the museum. She works there. Not well. We're staying with Tegan. I figured there was some history between you two. That was a long time back. We don't talk much now. And May? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. But you've heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl. And sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their... I don't think she burned down the Hathorn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. Interesting. You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword, living. The world is composed of two equal parts, dark and light. The light we see every day. It's the trees, the people, the birds. It's our world. You can even see it at night. The dark is the unknown. A plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tomb, the dark will appear, usually when you least expect it. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem, because the dark may reach out and take you. Also, did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? If you want to learn why, you should go on my tour. How often do you do this show? Most nights. It gets busier around Halloween. And I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn house was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police, dear. Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good, because I've already spoken with them. And so, you were here. I was out of town. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. If you go on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. Talk to you later. The museum is over there, across the square. That's where we can get the... The judge's office is in that building. If we want to go see him first, dive into the case, I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think?
Sounds good. Let's go meet the judge. Yeah, let's go. The road has completely collapsed into the sinkhole. No wonder they closed it off. The ground is still crumbling. That group is really chanting up a storm. What has them so angry? doing he's a judge deirdre he's not gonna bite hello judge danforth yeah hello ted is that you ted um no your honor my name is nancy drew i think you've spoken with my father nancy drew carson's daughter yes and i'm with my friend deirdre shannon we're investigating the arson of the hathorn house ah yes Yes. Can we come in? Well, you see, no, I mean, I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked in my office and I, uh, I need some help getting out. Do you know where I could find a key to your office? Yes, I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as backup. She's just down the hall. I hope she's still here. Yes, can I help you? Hi, so sorry to bother you at this hour. But we're here to meet with Judge Danforth, and he seems to be locked inside his office. He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Unbelievable. Does this ever end? Oh. Well then, do you have a paper clip? Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? We're helping the judge with the case. Anything I can assist you with? Thanks. But I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least, not yet. The diploma gave me away, huh? Aside from the cold coffee you're still drinking and the deluxe open box of sticky tabs, yeah. You could say I know the type really well. Nancy Drew, you really are your father's daughter. It's nice to finally meet you. You know my dad? Small world. If you need any assistance or more paper clips, feel free to ask. Come back later. Hello? I was hoping we could talk about the Hathorn House case. Yes, it's a terrible tragedy for our town, but let's table that discussion for later, okay? I'd like to get out of my office first. I wanted to talk to you about the Book of Apologies. You know, the book in Austria at the Mosam Castle. Yes, Nancy, I would love to talk about it, but I would really love if we could do it in person, face to face, as opposed to through this door. I'll come back. Judge Dan. What? Alicia said she'd keep a copy for me. Well, I did. Yeah. This shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Ha! Still got it. A 
efficient. How would you learn to do that, actually? Online video tutorial. Someday you have to tell me about your secret life of breaking and entering, Drew. Because you're in danger of being cool. Which, honestly, I just don't like. Someday. That group is really ch-